Hello, my name is Charlie Morris, and I'm pleased to be joined by Asab Lahav, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Tech Financials PLC, which is listed on the London AIM market under the ticker TECH. Hello, Asaf. Hi, thank you very much. Glad to be here and explain to you a little bit what Tech Financials is doing. Fabulous. So Tech Financial, you founded 10 years ago with some partners. One of those partners has stayed with you. You've, you've evolved from being a, um, a binary options trading company in 2016 to a crypto company. No, yeah. no, we are not a crypto company. We are a software company, a software company that uh, started uh, from uh, delivering products to online uh, online. Uh, uh, delivering online platforms, uh, online trading platforms to online brokers. Okay, this is back in 2009. Since then, we have been serving, you know, over 100 brokers around the globe with billions of dollars being uh, traded and executed in our trading system. In 2016, as, as you mentioned, we have decided, we saw that there is a change in our market and we decided to diversify our products toward different line of products. Okay, so regulatory changes in 2016, you've looked around the world, you've seen the landscape, and you're attracted by the digital asset space. Is that correct? Yeah, blockchain and, and digital assets were a great fit for, uh, for the next venture that uh, Tech Financials was involved in. So back then in 2017, uh, the SEDEX founder came to, to Tech Financials thinking about how to, how to make the diamond a, a tradable asset like any other asset. And we at uh, Tech Financials, we thought that uh, blockchain is the best way and the best infrastructure in order to create it by uh, uh, bringing transparency, uh, transparency into untransparent market. So to go back a stage, so SEDEX is your recent acquisition. You've got an option to buy 90% of the company. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So SEDEX, so we, we started it, as, as I said, in 2017 uh, uh, with the SEDEX founders. And in, uh, you know, it evolved from a, a, a software product into a, a more, I would say, a huge, a, a, a huge uh, groundbreaking uh, opportunity where people will be able to trade in diamonds. I'm not talking just about the retail traders, I'm talking about institutions that will be able to trade in diamonds as well. So uh, uh, we did it in, in 2017, we've decided to go, SEDEX decided to go through the ICO path uh, uh, in order to raise money. But we'll get, we'll get to that. But just to explain, so SEDEX is a, is, a, is a diamond trading exchange at the moment using digital tokens. That's correct. So, yep. so you digitize the diamond and then you purchase the diamonds via uh, cryptocurrencies. Now, so that's, that's, there's two points there. The first is that diamonds have never been able to be um, traded over exchanges because um, you can't commoditize them and they're all unique mm -hmm. and, and they're comp unlike gold, you can melt it down and weigh it. You can't do that with diamonds. Um, and so you solve that problem. I mean, you tell me about that in a second. And also I want to know um, why your digital exchange is accepting cryptocurrencies in exchange rather than um, cash. So, so first of all, uh, regarding, uh, you know, th there are some issues in order to commoditize uh, diamonds. Uh, and one of the issues, as, as I said before, is transparency. We're using uh, both blockchain technology and some algorithms in order to solve this transparency issue. First of all, you will be able to track the diamond prices, you know, way back. Every transaction that will happen on, on the diamond will be on the, on, the, uh, on the blockchain. Everybody can see it. This is one way to, to uh, solve the transparency issue. Another way is by, we, we are creating an algorithm called DEX in which we are pricing diamonds according to the ge geomological data. So these two things will help us in order to get into the, the, in order to help the trader at the end of the day to start trading in diamonds. Well, it's going to be a fascinating project to watch because, you know, no one's ever managed to put um, uh, diamonds over some kind of liquid, in, in some kind of liquid sphere. It's always been an over-the-counter trade done by people yes. in Antwerp and this kind of thing. And, um, and, and if you succeed in that, then that'll be very exciting. But your vision for the tokenization of assets, it goes way beyond diamonds, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we, this is the main focus of tech financials at the moment. SEDEX is the main focus. Uh, uh, this is the biggest project that we are involved in while helping SEDEX in order to, to launch the product in Q4. So they, they, they ended the ICO in, in uh, May, and we are already launching a product in Q4, which I'm very proud with, uh, you know, both Tech Financials team and, and SEDEX team. Uh, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, later on, 
we will generalize the solution. We will take the same infrastructure that we have supplied to, to, to SEDEX and we'll generalize the solution in order to bring other types of asset digitization solutions. And you think you could be trading uh, traditional shares, bonds, property, paintings, everything? Uh, I wouldn't say everything because this is way too much. First of all, uh, we Not will, overnight, but uh, uh, as a vision. Yeah, as, as a vision, you know, I believe that everything will be tokenized at the end of the day. This is the, you know, one of the messages that the blockchain brings to the table. So everything will be tokenized and will be traded digitally. Uh, enough with you know, all these uh, cross-border transactions that are very, very hard to, 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 to do. The blockchain is here in order to change it, and we want to be a part of this, uh, of this change. So to, give, to give a simple example, you know, if, you're a, if, if you've got a broking account in London or, or New York or something, then you can buy shares that trade in that country, but you can't necessarily buy small caps in Japan, can you? Yeah, it's very, it's very hard for you. Now, if everything is, is tokenized and put on the blockchain, then you can purchase shares all over the globe. Even you can purchase a, 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 a frictions of, of, of a share, not just the, yeah. the whole share. You know, buying Apple is very expensive today. Uh, someone from, from, uh, uh, from Africa cannot buy Apple, but a friction of a share, uh, he, he, he can buy and get in, involved in the market. Yeah, so it's an exciting area and it goes way beyond the stock market and traditional financial assets and into new areas such as diamonds. Yeah. So how much, how much, what have you done? To, 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 I mean, how much software have you built? How big is your team? Where are they? So, so we have built the entire infrastructure for you know, a, a blockchain-based trading application. Uh, based on that, SEDEX is, is built, has built their own trading application because this is specific for, for, for the diamond industry. Then uh, of, we have uh, teams uh, both uh, in Israel, small team in Israel, and a big team in Ukraine that is doing a great job. I'd like to thank them for the for their work, really working very hard in night, nights and days in order to make it happen. Yeah. And, and you funded this thing through an ICO. It's quite interesting because it's very rare that you see the new world of fundraising and the old world of, of, of finance come together. But what you've managed to achieve that, you've got a listing on the stock market yeah, mm -hmm. with, with a market capitalization, I think before the interview, of five million. But actually, we just heard that it's more like six million, isn't it, having had yeah. your shares just jumped. Um, but, the, but you managed to raise 20 million US dollars, which is, you know, give or take 15 million pounds. So somehow your, your market capitalization is below the amount of money you recently raised. Yes, it's, 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 it's a strange situation at the moment. Uh, we raised crypto. Yeah, I remind you, we didn't raise a, we raised a little bit of a, a and, and fiat. Is, your, is, that, is that crypto still in crypto? Some of them, is, uh, we converted some of them to, to uh, dollar. Uh, SEDEX converted some of them to dollars. And then we have, uh, SEDEX has, uh, of course, also crypto, uh, yeah. bitcoins and whatever other cryptos that they have. Uh, uh, and of course, they are using it in order to build a platform. So, uh, uh, and it doesn't make sense uh, for, from, from my point of view, the, the, the current situation, but, uh, you know. But your platform, how many people are building it and where are they located? We, as I described, the platform itself is built by both tech, the Statics platform is built both by tech financials, the infrastructure, it's uh, yeah. about 40 people in Ukraine. Okay. And uh, Statix is built by, by uh, a, a team of 10 people. So you've got quite a lot of expenditure going on, yeah. And that's and, and all of that um, twenty million raised is committed to that project. Yes, eventually it's committed in order to to uh, bring uh, the the platform uh, to a, a stable point, and then of course uh, marketing. You need the marketing spend in order to. Uh, this is a huge project, and you need to to. to uh, market it uh, globally. By the way, Sedex is going to, to launch here in UK. Okay, it's going to launch in, here in UK, probably around uh, by the end of the year, something like that. By this. the end of this year? Yes, by the end of, of this year. And then everywhere 2019? Yeah, yeah it, it, it will be... I, I, don't, I don't know exactly how they are going to uh, uh, explore other territories, but they are going to launch here in UK, they will start in UK and then they will probably move to other territories as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, of course, this is just the beginning of SEDEX. The, the, the launch is the MVP, the, the most important uh, things that you have in, in the product. But down the line, there will be derivatives over, over uh, uh, diamonds and uh, uh, people will be able to, do, to short diamonds. So, so there, there are a lot of financial instruments that are, we are going to introduce to the market based on the diamond trading. Yeah, we can't short diamonds because diamonds are forever. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, so if you're given the choice of, um, of, of, of you know, buying the shares in, in, in Tech Financial or buying the ICO, it's the token, it strikes me that when one's worth, when the, when, the, when the market cap is so low, the shares offer compelling value versus the ICO right now. But you're telling me that long term you'll be able to buy diamonds with, with the token, with the ICO token, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, pe people will be, yeah, they will go through, using the SEDEX coin, they will go to the, uh, uh, to the SEDEX exchange and will be able to purchase diamonds. Diamond, diamonds, they, they will purchase diamonds that will sit uh, uh, in, in a custodian. Of course, they will go through verification process. Uh, every uh, person that will participate in this market will go through AML and KYC processes. Sure. Uh, so, uh, yes, it's going to be well, very I'm, interesting. I'm very, I'm very excited about watching your experiment of uh, trying to put liquidity into the diamond market. And um, I'm also very excited about watching a uh, diamond dealer accept your token in exchange for a diamond. Personally, I prefer to back the shares. But, any, <laughs> but anyway, I said, look, thank you very much for coming on. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much.